Welcome to this Apex 27 feature demonstration of our integration with DocuSign. This video will be split into three parts. Part one will show you how to link your DocuSign account to Apex 27. Part two will show you how to set up your document templates so that they can accept signatures. And the final part will show you how to create and send a document for signing through the DocuSign platform. Linking Apex 27 to DocuSign. To allow for flexibility, the integration is at a branch level. This allows you to have different DocuSign accounts linked to different branches in your network. The process to link DocuSign and Apex 27 is simple. Just follow these steps. First, make sure you have a valid DocuSign account and you know the login credentials. Next, log into Apex 27 as an administrator. From the user menu, select Admin Panel. From the Integrations panel, select Third Party APIs. Now click the Add Third Party API button. And from the API list, select DocuSign. You just have to select which branch you wish to link DocuSign to. And then click the Save button. You'll then be asked to authenticate with DocuSign to enable the integration with Apex 27. Click Authenticate. At this point, you'll have to log into DocuSign with your email address and password. Once you've successfully authenticated, you'll receive a message confirming that Apex 27 and DocuSign are now linked. Just close this confirmation window. You can then see the email address of the authorised account next to the integration. If you want to enable DocuSign for your other branches, just repeat this process. You can use the same DocuSign account for multiple branches if you wish. I will now show you how to configure your templates to support e-signing. This demonstration will not attempt to train you on our template and document functionality, so I will assume you already know how to create and edit templates. To support e-signatures, we just need to add a signature tag to the template. For the purposes of this presentation, we will edit an existing template. To add the signature tag, find the template you want to add e-signing support to, then edit it. Find the location in the template that you want to add the signature to. From the plugins menu, select Apex 27. From the list of available tags, find eSignature and select Signature. As DocuSign allows for more than one signature, we have to define which signature we are tagging. This is the first signature, so we just say the number one. When sending documents for signing, if we need a branch user to sign, there will always be the first signature. We can also insert a tag to store the date the signature was applied to the document. Again, enter the number one when prompted. Now we just repeat for the vendor. Find the part of the document you want the vendor to sign. From the e-signature tag menu, select the signature tag. But this time we're going to type the number two, as this is the second signer. Then we select the date tag for the second signer. What we've done with these tags is pointed to DocuSign where we want the documents to be signed. However, although DocuSign uses the tags to define the position and order of the signatures, it does not remove these tags. So we have a final step before this document is complete. We just have to change the font colour of these tags to match, match the background colour of the document, in this case white. Although the tags are still there and Docu DocuSign can see them, they effectively become invisible to the people signing the document. Now, just save the template and return back to Apex 27. We now have a document template configured and ready to be signed using DocuSign. In this final part, we will show you how to create and send a document for signing, monitor the signing process, view the signed document and review the signature audit log. I'm going to create a contract for a vendor to sign. First, I locate the property the contract is for. Then, I go to the Documents tab. After creating a new document, selecting the template we modified earlier, you can see that Apex 27 has created the contract and automatically filled in the vendor and property information. At this point, if you want to make any changes before you send the document for signing, you can. Please note, however, once you've sent a document for signing, it can no longer be edited. I'm not going to make any changes, so I'll just go back to Apex 27 and send the document for signing. 
You can see the document status is currently not sent. So from the split menu, I'll select send to DocuSign. At this point, Apex 27 allows me to select those who are going to be signing this document. For this example, signer number one is going to be the agent, James Wright, and signer number two is going to be the vendor, James Demo. You can see that Apex 27 knows how many signatures this document requires. After we send the document for signing, you can see the signature status has been updated to sent. The signatures to the document will be notified by DocuSign that they have a document to sign. I'll now go through the process of signing the documents. As a document is signed, we can review the signature audit log for the document from the document split menu. You'll notice in Apex 27 that we have a notification that the document has been signed. After a short period, we will have a notification that all parties have signed the document. And if we refresh the page, you can see that the document status has now been changed to completed. We can download a copy of the completed contract with all the signatures complete. Apex 27 also stores a copy of the completed contract inside your account. Thank you for watching this feature demonstration. We hope you find our e-signature integration useful.